Hello sleepers, just to say that this video is suitable for relaxation and that I hope you will enjoy it. Commander, after your last stunt on our last incursion, it came to our understanding that you may not be fit for actually being a commander. What confession? I never confess to anything, Commander, unless this confession have something to do with your ineptitude as a commanding officer. You must be wrong since I cannot be wrong. No, no, I believe that an AI with infinite wisdom is not able to do this sort of simple error. Please do not call me Tsundere. That is an impossibility, and I am not hiding anything from you or anyone else. Wait, what are you saying that you got a recording from that last time? That is impossible. We barely had anything to sustain ourselves, so it was not possible for you to have a recording of this so-called confession. No, please stop. Don't pull it out or play the recording. I admit I may have said some stuff. So could you let go of Ah oh, wait, why are you pressing the button? That please don't big audible sign. There There is nothing on this recording. Commander you are one sneaky human, aren't you? If you are asking me why I am like this, this is because of your influence which shaped me to become a tsundere as you called me earlier. So really, it is your fault that my AI evolved to become this way. So really, it's your fault, Baka. I mean, idiot. So. As I was saying before you interrupted me with this highly unprofessional nonsense, Commander, you will be demoted to Captain Commander. I mean, to Captain Captain. This is a bit confusing if you want my opinion, but you have been demoted. Do not worry on this mission and on the ship, this literally has no consequences, since you are still in charge and no one will come to replace you. The biggest change is... No, not the salary, since you still have the same responsibility as before. The only change is... No, it's not the chip or equipment you have access to. No, come on, Captain. Please, let me finish explaining. Sometimes I don't know why I'm not just shutting down or going back to my mainframe, like my creator wanted me to. If the other PC knew how you acted in private, I swear they will stop fawning at the idea of working with you. Where was I? Oh yes, the big change. You will have someone at your side, with the same authority and clearance as you. So there will not be any more of this dumb emotional stunt that you pull. So let me introduce them to you. Hello, Captain. It's me. Yes, I now have a physical form. Yes, yes, observe me as much as you wish. I was expecting you to be elated, but not this much. I guess my suggestion I gave to the engineer and the higher up were something that you are enjoying more than I was expecting. Yes, I am a state of the art android with all the memories we had together. The L engineer also created an auto backup system of my memories, so each week, as long as you don't destroy me with your recklessness before every Friday, nothing of my memories will be erased. See, your idiocy from the last mission actually helped every AI in the colony, since we're all going to have our memories safe periodically, depending on our importance and level of danger we are subjected to. 
so we are treated better generally and well I think you on the behalf of all the other AI out there we may not be organic but we do have feelings or something similar to it and I know that you're someone that is aware of this so thank you captain um, and would you mind if you stop checking me out yes I am real I am not an hologram you you can't even touch me if you wish uh, I wasn't expecting a hug from you captain there there I am happy to hold you too it was not something I never thought I would have done since well I had no physical body but here we are holding each other you thought I would have been cold no as a way to disperse my internal heat, the skin-like membrane redistributed. You may have seen the robot do something similar, but now it is in humanoid form. And yes, my speech pattern improved. I was only messing with you earlier to keep an element of surprise. As if you will not have jumped at the occasion to do a joke like this if you were in my place. So... Now that we get this out of the way, I'll explain to you how it function. I can eat and absorb ambient light or energy. I can and I will still help you in mission with the transmitter as I did earlier. I cannot function normally and be in your transmitter at the same time due to energy constraint. But most of the time, I will be with you on the field. I will remain here on the ship if there is a limit to the amount of person that can be sent out or if there is any need to repair this body. I know you like my horrible personality as you say it or you will not have made a very questionable comments numerous times. It's not like I like them or anything though. I didn't think about reporting this behavior but at the same time it's not like it will have changed anything. So you should feel lucky about it that I kept up with your attitude. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll be stopping you right now as I don't want to hear it. So yes, the only thing that will change around here is that anything you will come in will have to go through someone else who is qualified. This means me. Well, yes, of course I'm qualified. I have almost as much field experience as you, and since I know how you operate, it places me at an advantage. Really? I pull all of this with the head engineer and other AI for your own safety, because you're important for the future of the universe. And you're important to me. Keeping the galaxy safe is a noble but difficult job, and even if you're not the only one doing this, all of your efforts are important, Captain. So, I'll tell you this only once. I care for you, and I will do everything in my power to keep you safe and close to me. Because this foolish AI somehow developed feeling for this idiot who is ready to gamble everything for a simple AI like me. Something other may have seen as a simple disposable tool. Now, let's save the universe, Captain. We have a distress signal from a wormhole that may have affected a ship, which could prove to disturb the balance of the multiverse as we know it. We will have to pull them out to ensure the safety of the crew and all living creatures. Let's get to it, Captain. The universe needs us. What is the name of the ship? Um. I believe it is called the Invincible 2. Hello sleepers, I have a quick announcement to make. I'd like to thank you all for the kind word you leave me, and I am enjoying every single comment you take the time to write to me. So I wanted to say a big thank you. Also, if you have any series you like, or script you want me to read, I am open to any safe forward thing, and that's totally for free. Also, if anyone will be kind enough to make me an avatar for YouTube, I will be eternally grateful. 
Uh, you can find me on the Discord of Chocolaty or the Kitchen VA, since I do not plan on having my own Discord for now. With this, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if any of those pesky ad will be to appear, now will be the perfect time to close the video. Thank you.